Welcome guys. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at measures of position for grouped data. So without wasting much time, let's start. So the first one we're going to look at is portals. And the formula we'll be using is L plus K over 4 times N minus C F B times H divided by small letter F. Now, to find first quartile, Q1, it means we are going to use L plus into bracket 1 over 4. Since you say first quartile, 1 over 4, okay. 1 over 4 times N minus C, F, B times H divided by F. Now, to get the various parameters in the formula, we need to find the first quartile class first okay so to get a first quartile class you can say 1 over 4 times sigma f which will give us 1 over 4 times as sigma f is a sum of what all the frequencies so that gives you 20 that's 2 plus 4 plus 3 plus 8 plus 3 so that gives you 20 so 1 over 4 times 20 is what Five. That's fit position. Okay, fit position. So how then do we locate the fit position? This is what you do. You come to the frequencies. The first frequency is what two, isn't it? Now, if the first frequency is two, it's not up to fit position yet. Now add the next frequency to it. When you add the next frequency to it, you get six. Meaning, at this point in time, you've gotten to the fit position and you've even bypassed it. So this particular class becomes the first quartile class. This class becomes the first quartile class. So the first quartile class is class 11 to 20. Now, after adjusting the class, then you can now find the first quartile itself. So to get the first quartile, this L means the lower class boundary of the first quartile class. Now, this is the class. What will be the lower class boundary of this class? The lower class boundary of this class will be 10.5. We deducted 0 0.5 from here. Plus, into brackets, 1 over 4 times N is 1 over 4 times sigma F, which is 5. This five here. Minus CFB means the addition of all the frequencies before that particular class. Now, this is the first quartile class. The all the frequencies that comes before that class, the addition of them. So only this frequency comes before this class, isn't it? So you only take it, which is two. Times H. Now, the H means the difference between the limits. For instance, 11 minus 1 is 10. When you check 21 minus 11, you still get 10. So that 10 is the height or the width or the interval. Okay. So we substitute 10 here. Divided by. Now, this F means the frequency of the first quartile class, of that particular class. So this is the class, right? The first quartile class. What is the frequency of that class? 4. So we substitute 4 here. So we have 10.5 plus 5 minus 2 gives 3. And 3 times 10 is 30. 30 divided by 4 should give you 7.5. So 10.5 plus 7.5 is what? 18. Hence, the first quartile is 18. So let's find the second quartile. Now, the second quartile formula will now be L plus into bracket 2 over 4 N. This was 1 over 4, but this will be 2 over 4. Minus C F B times H divided by F. Now, to get a second quartile, you need to find a second quartile class. And then to get a second quartile class, you say 2 over 4 times sigma f. 
So that gives us 2 over 4 times sigma f is 20. So 2 over 4 times 20 is 10, meaning 10th position. 10th position. So how then do we locate the 10th position? The formula 2. It's not up to 10th position yet. Add 4 to it. You get 6, which is not up to 10th position. Add 3 to it. You get 9, which is also not up to 10th position yet, right? Then when you add the next frequency, which is 8, at this point in time, you've gotten to the 10th position. So this class is a 10th position class. The 10th position fall within this class. Because this place was 9. So here will be 10. Okay. So it's this class. Now, to get a second quartile, it will be, so the L means the lower class boundary of the second quartile class. So this is the second quartile class. And what is the lower class boundary? It is 30.5 plus 2 over 4N is the same as 2 over 4 sigma F, which was 10. Minus the CFV means the cumulative frequency of the class before the second quartile class. So before this class, before this particular class, okay, the cumulative frequency of the class before this class. So what would that be? 2 plus 4 plus 3. That is 9, isn't it? So we substitute 9 there. Times H. The H means the difference between the lower limits or the upper limits so which is 10 divided by the frequency of that particular class so what is the frequency of this second quartile class it's 8 isn't it so we substitute 8 here so that give us 30.5 plus 10 minus 9 is 1 and 1 times 10 gives you 10 and 10 divided by 8 you get 1.25 so we have 1.25 so 30.5 plus 1.25 would be what 31.75 so this is the second quarter now to find the third quarter let me erase this place then we find the third quarter now for the Third quarter for the third quarter to be L plus into brackets three over four N minus C F B brackets close H divided by F. Now we need to find the third quarter class before we can get a third quarter itself. So how then do we get a third quarter class? We say three over four times sigma f which is 3 over 4 times 20 so 3 over 4 times 20 give you 15th position okay 15th position so let's locate the 15th position this is 2 plus 4 6 not yet up to 15 plus 3 9 not up to 15 then plus 8 that is 17, which is up to 15 already. So the, the third quartile class is also class 31 to 40. It's also class 31 to 40. So to get a third quartile, what is the lower class boundary of the third quartile class, which is also this class? It is 30.5 plus... 3 over 4 n means 3 over 4 sigma f. Okay, so which is 15 minus CFB. It means cumulative frequency of the class before that particular class. So this is the class, isn't it? So what is the cumulative frequency that comes before this class? That would be 2 plus 4 plus 3, which is 9. So we substitute 9 there. Then the height is known as 10, isn't it? H is 10 divided by the frequency of that specific class, which is 8. So this gives us 30.5 plus 15 minus 9 gives you 6. And 6 times 10 is 16. 
60 divided by 8, you get 7.5. So, 30.5 plus 7.5 is 38. Hence, the third quartile is 38. The second quartile is 31.75. And the first quartile is 18. So, let's look at the next one, which is percentiles. For percentiles, the formula is L plus into bracket K over 100 N minus C F B times H divided by F. Now, this time around, you see that it's over 100. In the previous formula, we use over 4. But because this is percentiles, we use 100. So, when I ask you to find the 40th percentile, okay, 40th percentile, it will be L plus into bracket 40 over 100 and minus CFB times H divided by F. Now, we need to know the 40th percentile class first before we can actually find the exact 40th percentile. So what is the 40th percentile class? To get it, we say 40 over 100 times sigma F, which will give us 40 divided by 100 times 20. And 40 over 100 times 20 is 8. So meaning 8th position. Okay, 8th position. So let's locate the 8th position. 2 plus 4, that is 6. Not up to 8th position. Plus 3, that is 9. So at this point in time, you are the 8th position. Okay, so the 8th position class is class 21 to 30. Then, to find the 40th percentile itself, what is the lower boundary of that class? The lower boundary of that class is 20.5 plus bracket 40 over 100 times n is the same as 40 over 100 times sigma f, which is 8. We got 8. So we substitute 8 here. Minus, now what is CFB? CFB means cumulative frequency of the class that comes before that class. So this is the class we are working with, isn't it? be the sum of all the frequencies before that class so 2 plus 4 is 6 so it's just 6 so we substitute 6 here times h which is 10 we got the h from the, the difference between the limits okay so the f will be the frequency of the 40th percentile class which is 3 so we have 20.5 plus 8 minus 6 is 2 times 10. That is 20. And 20 divided by 3 should give you 6.67. So 20.5 plus 6.67, you get 27.17. So this is the 40th percentile, 27.17. Let's say a question asks you to find 55th percentile. So that would be L plus into bracket 55 over 100 and minus C F B times H divided by F. So we need to look for the 55th percentile class. So to get a 55th percentile class, we say 55 over 100 times sigma F, which is 55 over 100 times 20. So 55 over 100 times 20 gives you 11. So 11th position. So let's look for the 11th position. This is 2. When you add the next frequency, 4 to it, you get 6. Not up to 11. Add 3 to it, you get 9. Not up to 11. Then add 8 to it, you get 70. Meaning at this point, you can get the 11th position within this uh, class. Okay. So the 11th position class is class 31 to 40. So to find the 55th percentile, what is the lower boundary of that class? That is 30.5 plus 55 over 100 times n gave us 11 minus CFB, which is 
the cumulative frequency that comes before that class. So let's find it. 2 plus 4 2 plus 3, 9. Please, you don't include that particular class for the CFB. Okay. So you have 9. Times H, which is 10. Divided by the frequency of that class. Which is 8. So we have 30.5 plus 11 minus 9 give you 2, isn't it? And 2 times 10 is 20. 20 divided by 8, you get 2.5. So 30.5 plus 2.5 give you 33. So the 55th percentile is 33. And then the 40th percentile is 27.17. So you can try other examples yourself. So let's look at the last one, which is Dezels. So for Dezels, it will be L plus into bracket K over 10 N minus C F B times H divided by F. So in case you are finding second Dezel, then it will be L plus 2 over 10 N minus c f b h divided by f so to get a second decimal we need to find a second decimal class first and that will be 2 over 10 times sigma f which is 2 over 10 times 20 as sigma f is 20 okay so that is 4 meaning fourth position fourth position so to locate the fourth position, you go to the frequency. So the first frequency is 2, which is now up to 4. Add the next one to it. You get 6, meaning at this point in time, it's up to 4. So the second decimal class is class 11 to 20. Class 11 to 20. So to get a second decimal, L means the lower value of the word of the second decimal class, which is 10.5 plus into brackets. 2 over 10 times n is the 4. Minus CFB. CFB means the cumulative frequency that comes before the parent class, and which is 2. You only have 2, one frequency. So 2. Then h is 10 divided by what is the frequency of the second decimal class? The frequency of the second decimal class is 4. So we substitute 4 here. So we have 10.5 plus 4 minus 2 is 2, times 10, which is 20, divided by 4 is 5. So that gives us 10.5 plus 5 is 15.5. So the second decimal is 15.5. So you can practice more of this by finding the seventh decimal, the eighth decimal, the sixth decimal, or the fifth decimal. Okay. Thank you for watching.